Hi friends, uh, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how you can configure transparent web proxy on 48 firewall. And the version that I'm working on is 6.4.0. So uh, let's get started. So this is my in interface. This is, this is my in interface, sorry, port two. And this is my out interface, port one. And I am trying to use this port for my transparent uh, proxy traffic collection. And uh, let me just quickly take the access. So the major difference between the explicit web proxy versus the transparent web proxy is that uh, in explicit web proxy, you will have to do the changes to the client. Whereas in you can have your pack file or pack URL updated in your browser, or you can have your system proxy configuration according to the firewall settings that you have. But in transparent web proxy, the client will not have to have any configuration. The default gateway of the client will still be the 48 firewall or the upstream firewall in terms of the transparent web proxy. So there is no changes required to the browser or to the system. The only thing is that the upstream gateway of the client would be the firewall. I guess I already have this configured. So let me show you the configuration here. So this is my out interface, port one. This is my in interface, port two. Uh, in the previous video about the proxy configuration, I showed you the explicit web proxy configuration. If you want, you can refer to my previous video. If you want to know how you can configure the explicit web proxy using the proxy auto configuration, which is the pack file, using the pack URL, using WPA. So I've done a couple of videos on the open source firewall, PFSense, OpenSense as well as on the 48 firewall. So you can refer that if you want to do the explicit web proxy configuration. So today in this video, we are going to do the transparent web proxy configuration, which is totally different from the explicit web proxy configuration. Whereas in the client is not required to have any sort of settings. For example, if you check my browser settings, I don't have any such configuration related to proxy settings you can see here no proxy and my default gateway is So my default gateway is 14.140.40.108, which is the 40 gate firewall. Okay. So now in order to do that, um, the first thing is like I have, you know, enable the proxy settings and then you will have to come to proxy policy and object. And then under the normal policy settings, firewall policy, you will have to create a new policy. I believe it's very easy. So I'm not creating a new policy here. So my policy says from port two to port one, all traffic coming in, all traffic going out, services all accept. And then I have set it as proxy based and I have uh, redirected the HTTP traffic. So how to do that? Well, you can do this using the command. So 
So HTTP HTTPS redirect is only possible via the CLI. So you can do this HTTP policy redirect enable here. Once you do that, your system. Okay. Okay. So once you do that, your policy should show. the configuration here okay proxy http traffic so i have redirected the http traffic to match the transparent web proxy policy so this is just for testing purpose if you want you can enable it or if you don't want you can disable it but then uh, the inspection mode you can click here proxy based instead of flow based which is the default Natting is enabled outgoing interface. Well, if you want, you can enable here, but I don't want it since this is for the testing purpose. So, this is the policy configuration here. Let me show you the same on the firewall as well. So this is my policy, firewall policy. Okay, here you can see that I have redirected HTTP. Redirection of HTTP is enabled and my inspection mode is proxy. And the disclaimer is enabled. So if you want to have the disclaimer, if any traffic is hitting this policy, you can enable the disclaimer, which will have the the notification uh, showed on the browser whenever you try to, you know, access something. Well, so this is the configuration, and this is the configuration in GUI. Once again, let me show you that. I have not enabled SSL inspection because I don't want to do the extra certificate adjustment in my client certificate store. So I'm keeping it that way. So the next setting is to be done inside proxy policy. So you will have to create a new proxy policy. Okay, so one more thing is you will not see this option unless and until you enable the feature visibility of the proxy, which is, should be somewhere here. Explicit proxy, you will have to enable here. Then only the option will show up here. And then you can have this option as well. So I have already created the policy. So you can click on this and yeah, so basically I have clicked on transparent web proxy here, which is incoming interface port two, outgoing interface port one. I have, I'm not sorting anything. I'm just allowing everything going towards everything. This is the service, which is TCP 0265.35. Action is accept. Protocol option is default. Well, you can view the protocol option. These are the protocol option. And the disclaimer option I've clicked on by policy, which is not a major settings in terms of transparent web proxy. And here you can define the SSL inspection if you want or the certificate based inspection. So this basically will, you know, dissect the packet and then we will inspect the content of the HTTPS traffic. So for that, you will have to have the certificate enabled, certificate uh, 
uploaded onto the 40 gate firewall and that certificate should be you know trusted on your client otherwise it'll give up it'll, it'll show as untrusted certificate or it might not work on your system so once we are done with this we can start our testing so after this if i do any sort of So you can see here, it is hitting the proxy policy. So the normal flow would be the traffic will come to the 40 gate firewall and then first it will do the route lookup and then it will do the normal policy lookup, which is the firewall policy. Once it, once it do that, it will then forward the traffic to the proxy policy and then the proxy policy will uh, look up for all the attributes that is configured in the proxy policy so you can go ahead and you know choose multiple attributes here i don't want to do that because this is for the testing purpose so we are good with this option mm, okay so this was all about the transparent web proxy there's nothing much in the transparent web proxy, so. So if you want, you can filter the traffic as well, whichever traffic you want to forward it to the proxy. So definitely you can have more granularity in your firewall policy to isolate the traffic that should you know, be forwarded to the proxy policy. All right, guys, that's all in this video. Please do subscribe to my channel, hit the like button if you want me to you know have some tutorial on any topic please do suggest me that suggest me the topic in the comment section so that i can uh, you know make a tutorial video on that particular topic so once again please do subscribe to my channel hit the like button if you really enjoyed this video and stay safe have a good day